Hi, we're here at VMworld 2016. I'm standing here with Jennifer Gill, Director of Global Product Marketing for Zerto. How's it going, Jennifer? Very well. How about yourself? Doing all right. Okay. And uh, today we're going to talk about a couple different problems. Uh, talking about people that would like to be able to use the cloud. They're, they're currently using VMware. They'd like to be able to, to incorporate the cloud in that in, in their story. They're also worried about new technology comes on the scene and being able to incorporate that, especially storage technology. And then also, of course, you know, Zerto's whole reason for existence of outages. So you guys have had a big announcement this week. Why don't we talk about that? And uh, how does that incorporate the cloud? It actually plays well to all three issues. So first with cloud, we announced Zerto Virtual Replication 5.0. So we're going to be adding support for Azure. So we have had support for Amazon Web Services for about a year and a half. And now we're adding an additional option to customers who want to use Azure as a target instead. So help me understand. So we've got, basically, we've got this big, this is my, my, my attempt. That's as close as I'm going to get to writing VMware, right? <laughs> so now, al already you had AWS, right? Yes. And so people could, and then now you're adding Azure. They're yes. just going to be a big AZ. So basically, you're saying that I can replicate up to either of these and then do what? At once I, after I've replicated, what can I do? So well, you can use this as a target site for disaster recovery. Um, also in the release, we added support for one to many and a 30 day journal also. So you could use both of those clouds as just like destinations, just like your drawing. <laughs> um, at the same time, well, that's new with Zerto. So right. previously, we just had one to one. Now we have one to many. So in here, you can have the full 30-day journal mm -hmm. so that you can use that for an extended period of time versus a lot of customers, when they have it locally um, or at another disaster recovery site that they own, they don't want to invest in the additional storage required for the 30-day journal. Right. So now leveraging the public cloud option becomes cost effective and a very possible thing that they can do. So I could have this other, I could have a replication into, I don't know, we'll call it a hot site, right? My own site. Yes. But then also I could go into either AWS or Azure or both. Yes, Can exactly. I do all three if I just really like paying for storage? Yes, Okay. you absolutely can. <laughs> all right, so what about um, I buy, we're going to, uh, I think earlier we were talking about this. We're going to call this the plasma array. Yeah. I don't know, the fictitious. Um, Brand I don't know, new shiny thing brand that's going to do thing. amazing things. Uh, and I, I, I come in and I, I really like to incorporate that into my VMware environment. How do, how do you guys make that? Yeah, so this is um, starting to incorporate different destinations, the new technologies. That's where we start to play on our IT resilience. So we're looking to make it easy for customers who are like, wow, I do want this plasma array, but I don't want to buy two, and how long is it going to take me to incorporate it? I mean, migrate an application, you know, our customers talk about a six or 12 month planning cycle to mm -hmm. migrate some of the really monster applications. With Zerto, because it's in the hypervisor, we have customers who are able to leverage a new flash array in under three hours and have it up and running in production. So that's where we get to resilience, where you can withstand the disruptions from new technologies, where you can easily incorporate clouds into your strategy just to improve your overall strategy in terms of IT. The fact that you're in the hypervisor and you can use basically any storage. Mm -hmm. is, is there anything else about the product that assists me in adding new storage into my environment? Because it's also uh, hypervisor agnostic, so mm -hmm. if you did happen to use a storage that was tied to a different type of hypervisor, it would be easy to, for us to move between VMware and Hyper-V as an example. Um, but with Zerto, because all the action takes place in the hypervisor, that's really the strength in terms of the ability to be storage agnostic. Gotcha. So let's see. We solved our. We want to move into the cloud. We solved about new stuff. What about outages? I mean, this is your core. Yeah. This is your core product. Yeah. Right? So this has been our uh, bread and butter for quite a long time. And so we have customers who survive, you know, natural disasters, things like that. Um, How about people disasters? Can people we disasters. Yes. Yeah. So ransomware. I tripped mm. over a power cord. I hit that button and I didn't know this is what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. So those are the kind of outages that people cause on a daily basis. And with the journal, that's where we can help recover from those things, especially with ransomware. So say you get hit with ransomware at 9 a.m. this morning. You could go into 8.59 into the journal in 47 seconds, roll back the environment. You would never even know that you had been hit with ransomware. So what if I find out now that I've been hit with ransomware, but it actually hit me two weeks ago? So. 
that's where you go with your journal into Amazon or Azure because that's where you have your 30-day journal, so you'd be able to recover at that point. So keeping a longer journal possibly, as you mentioned earlier, keeping mm -hmm. a longer journal here uh, so that I'd be able to roll back to an earlier point in time. Exactly. All right, well, um, let's see. We solved all known storage problems. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so uh, with that, uh, thanks for joining me here today. Again, uh, this is uh, Curtis Preston from Storage Switzerland.